Okay, so question number eight. Draw the Lewis structure of iodine Cl2 minus. So first let's find the total uh, valence electrons for this ion. So for an iodine atom, there are seven valence electrons. And for chlorine, there is also seven. And we have two chlorine atoms, so we multiply this by two. And the entire ion has a negative one charge, so I'm going to add an additional electron to our count. So now this gives us a total of 22 valence electrons. So if I draw iodine as my central atom, I can draw both of my chlorines on either side. And then I'll draw all of the lone pairs on the chlorines. So if I count out how many I've drawn so far, each bond contains two electrons. Um, I've only written down 16. So now I 22 minus 16 is 6, so I have 6 more electrons that I need to draw. So I'm going to draw them all on the iodine. Since iodine is able to uh, contain more than 8 electrons. So it's one of those exceptions to the octet rule. And this also gives a negative charge on the iodine. So we can calculate the formal charge and how I got that by using the following equation, where formal charge is equal to the number of valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus the number of bonding electrons divided by 2. So let's calculate the formal charge of iodine. Iodine has seven valence electrons. The number of non-bonding electrons is the total of, of electrons in the lone pairs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the number of bonding electrons. So there are two bonds. So there are four bonding electrons divided by two. So 7 minus 6 minus 2 is negative 1. So just to double check and see what our formal charge on one of the chlorine atoms would be. Chlorine also contains 7 valence electrons. There are 6 non-bonding electrons. And each chlorine only has one bond, so there's only 2 bonding electrons. So this gives us a formal charge of zero. So let me just do this in the same color. So this is why our iodine is the one that has the negative charge. So let's see what the junior tutor said. When drawing Lewis structures, the total number of electrons that need to be distributed is counted first by adding the valence electrons of each individual atom. If a formal charge is present on the molecule, this is also taken into account in the total number of valence electrons. Skeletal structure is first written by distributing bonding electron pairs, then the alone pairs are distributed until the octet is complete. Formal charges are added to the atom if the number of electrons does not satisfy the octet to indicate that an electron has been transferred, added, or removed. The structure with the least number of formal charges or has the smaller charge is the most stable Lewis structure. Okay, so there are 22 valence electrons. Four are in two bonding pairs shared by the central iodine atom 
and the two terminal chlorine atoms. The remaining 18 are distributed as lone pairs, three for each of the terminal chlorine and another three for the central atom. The Lewis structure is the following. Yep, so this solution is correct. Thank <laughs> you.